everyone. Today's another beautiful spring day and today I'm going to show you um, a really nice dessert to make for Easter since it's coming up in just a few days. So I think pineapple goes really well with uh, an Easter dinner because a lot of people use that even on their ham. But I got a new bunt pan which can be used for angel food cakes or any kind of pound cake and I've never used it before so I'm excited about trying it out today. So I hope everyone is getting ready for Easter. I looked at the calendar and could not believe that it was just in a few days. So I hope everyone is looking for a nice dessert to make and I hope this one works for you. So let's get started. So the very first thing you want to do is flour your bunt pan. You can just put a lot of butter or shortening, whatever you want, and then just uh, flour it. And you want to flour all of it. You can also put parchment paper in this if you want, which I'm not doing, but you can Just do. make sure that your, your pan is greased and floured all around. And then we're ready. Okay, so these are all the ingredients you're going to need. Of course, you're going to need a greased bunt pan. You're going to need a large 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple that's drained. Now I couldn't find any crushed so I have slices but I'm going to use my food processor to crush the pineapple and you don't want to use the juice you want it drained. Three cups of granulated sugar, three cups of flour, one half a teaspoon of baking powder, one cup of room temperature milk, five eggs, and you want three sticks of butter. So those are all the ingredients you're going to need to make the cake. And I will show you the frosting that we're going to use a little later in those ingredients. Okay, next what you're going to do is you're going to take your three sticks of butter and you're going to cream them 10 minutes with your three cups of sugar. And it's going to be about 10 minutes. You want them creamed thoroughly, the sugar and butter. Okay, it's been about eight minutes and you can see how creamy this is. So you're going to want to use your spatula and get the edges and we're going to go about two more minutes. Very creamy and this is the consistency you want it but we are going to go two more minutes. Okay, here's my homemade crushed pineapple and I put the juice separately in this little jar. We're going to use some of that for the glaze. So if you can't find crushed pineapple, just crush it yourself in a food process. Okay, this has been 10 minutes. We can turn off the mixer now. That's how it's supposed to be. Okay, the next step is we're going to add our five eggs individually, and we're going to cream them in separately until they're all blended in. So next what you're going to do is you're going to add a teaspoon of your pineapple juice in here and then you're going to alternate between your milk and flour and mix everything in and blend it in. Now your flour will already have your half a teaspoon of baking powder in it. So I just added, added the pineapple juice, now we're going to add some flour and milk alternately until everything's incorporated. You want to continue scraping the edges. I want to stress is not to overmix this cake. I did make a mistake last year of over mixing my coconut cake and it went it kind of fell and it took me a while to figure it out but that's what I did so do not over mix this and then once you have incorporated all those ingredients now you're going to put your crushed pineapple in here and I pretty much drained it already. There might be a little bit of juice, but the majority of it was drained out, which is what you want. So you're, what you're going to do is fold in the, pine, the crushed pineapple. You're not going to mix it with the blender or the mixer or anything. You're just going to fold this in, just like I'm showing you. Gently fold all that pineapple till it's all incorporated. And then after we do this, we're going to pour it in our bunt pan. And then we're going to bake it in a 325 degree Fahrenheit oven. And we're going to bake it about 70 minutes. And it could be five minutes more or five minutes less. It all depends on your oven. So 
Now we're going to pour it in our bundt pan. So you want to distribute this evenly all around. This is what your bunt pan is going to look like after you evenly distribute all the batter. And then you can take a little spatula and kind of smooth it out, just like I'm doing. And uh, then it will be ready to go into our uh, 325 preheated oven, 325 Fahrenheit. And this will bake 70 to 75 minutes. And it all depends on your oven, so I can't tell you the, an exact time, but I'm going to put mine in, because I have a gas oven, and sometimes it cooks faster, so I'm gonna put mine in for 65 minutes. I always go a little less because of my oven. So I will see you in 60 to 70 minutes. Okay, this baked 70 minutes in my gas oven, and when you poke a toothpick in, and it comes out clean, you know it's done. Now this part here was kind of wet. So what I did, knowing that the rest of it was, it was done, I left it in the oven with the oven off for another 10 minutes. So it's all baked uh, thoroughly. And now I'm gonna let this cool a good Okay, hour. now we're gonna make uh, what you call a simple white glaze. Now you're gonna need two cups of powdered sugar and you're gonna have to sift this so I will measure it after I sift it. You need three quarters, uh, or you need three to four teaspoons of pineapple juice, a pinch of salt, and a teaspoon of vanilla. So we're gonna sift this first. Okay, here we have two cups of powdered sugar measured out. Then you wanna put four tablespoons of pineapple juice, a pinch of salt, and one teaspoon of vanilla. And this is going to be your white glaze. So we're just gonna mix everything up. If you want, you could add a food coloring to this, like a yellow or, or orange food coloring for Easter, whatever you wanna do. And I might have to add a little more juice in here. Now here is our glaze. I did add more powdered sugar. Now you can make this whatever consistency you want. It was way too thick. So I didn't measure, I just added more pineapple juice, but this is what you want. You want the glaze to be about this consistency because it's not a frosting. I may have called it a frosting earlier, but it's not, it's a glaze. So once this pound cake is completely cooled, we will top it off with this glaze. Okay, this cake has been cooling about 20 minutes. It's still warm, so we can't ice it yet, but I'm going to remove it from the pan. I'm gonna show you how I remove it the easiest way I do it. So I get a plate, and this is plastic, it's, it's, it's not glass. And I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to flip it over. And hopefully it'll come out. And it looks like it did. So now that we have our cake out, and you do want to loosen it a little with a knife, although you have greased it really well, it should be fine. And it, you could turn it the other way, but I'm not going to. So I'm just going to leave it like this. And when it's completely cool, I'm going to put the glaze on. So we'll be back. Okay, now you want to, you can either use a spoon or you can put your um, glaze in a little, uh, like a measuring cup with a spout or something. And now there's no special way that you have to do this. I'm just going to kind of just do this. Kind of pour it all around and it's just not going to be in any particular way you're just going to kind of just put the glaze all over like that and doesn't that look pretty okay everyone this is an amazing cake it is so good so let's taste it so it's real moist this cake, that's one thing this cake is, is very moist because it has the pineapple uh, in it. So let's take a bite. Mm. Perfect. If you like pound cake and you like pineapple, this is fantastic. 
and it's just perfect for Easter. It's buttery. Um, it's not real light, but it's not real heavy. It's kind of in between. But it's really just the perfect Easter dessert. So I want to thank everyone who's watching me and who has watched me in the past. I really appreciate all of you. And if you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate that too. So I hope everyone has a wonderful Easter. Thank you so much. Enjoy.